In this video, I'll be exploring the create report functionality within the Power BI service. So as you see over here, I have logged into the Power BI service. So how do I navigate is by navigating to app.powerbi.com. Once you do that, and if you have a correct license, you'll be seeing similar sort of a screen wherein you will be having a workspaces, the content of the workspaces, etc. So how do we access the content of workspace is by on the left hand side, if you click on workspace, it will list down all the workspaces what you have. Now I have a couple of workspace. One is a normal workspace and the second is a premium workspace. So I'll go into one of the workspace. So the workspace name is Girish, as you see over here. Uh, this is a pane whereby you will see all the items uh, in a visual format. So this is one of the task items. On the bottom here, here, you, will, here you will see the reports, uh, the semantic model, the folder, uh, and other artifacts of Power BI. Now, as you see over here, I have a whole bunch of reports and dashboards and semantic model. So I'll just sort this out so that I have this folder and dashboard and report and semantic model listed over here. So I have three semantic models at the bottom. So if I sort this back over here, I can see there are three semantic models. Now, if you want to create a report out of your semantic model, what you can do is there are multiple options. So first option is you click on this three dots over here against that semantic model, and you have a couple of options over here. So you have a create report, and auto create report. So I'm just focusing on these two items. Now create report will allow you to create a report on a Power BI service interface. Uh, it will be a blank report. So you start with a blank report and then you start adding your own visuals. So this is the first option. Second option is auto create report, which whereby Power BI will automatically decide uh, what is the best visual for this particular uh, semantic model and then it will suggest you and then you can uh, basically extend on top of that suggestion so uh, to start with uh, what i'll do i'll just pick up one semantic model so this is a semantic model and then i'll say create report so what it will do it will start loading you the power bi service through which you can create a Power BI report. Now, this is not Power BI desktop, this is Power BI service. So it has a limited functionality. However, if you do not have that access to the Power BI desktop, or if you just want to work on a browser, then this is the best option. So here you can do a whole bunch of things. You can first see the data on the left-hand side. So as you see over here, I have this financial table. I have this review code. Uh, now what you can do with this is uh, you can, uh, say select an item say i just selected country and now the selection it is automatically selected the map visual so what what i want is like a table visual so i just select table i've selected country i've selected product and then i will select uh maybe gross sales and this is how i will be able to generate this visuals right now this visual uh you can further style it so you have more options over here you can show it as a table you can remove, you can spotlight. So I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty of the visuals, but uh, this is how you can create multiple visuals. Now you have an option to, you know, uh, I just did a control C and I'm doing a control V. So I have created a copy of it. And then I'll say, oh, I don't want the stable visual, but I want something called as a donut chart. Okay. And this is how it will generate this donut chart over here. So like that, you can build your report. Now you have an option over here to create a new page. So you can create a new page and then you can uh, again uh, do a copy paste. And then you can say that, oh, I don't want this. I want something of uh, maybe a stacked column chart. And this is how you can uh, play around with the visuals, right? So you started with a blank canvas and then you started building your report. Now, once you're done with that, you have an option to save, and there are other options uh, on the uh, top bar, as you see over here, uh, but I'll just click on save, and it will give you an option to save against your own workspace or other workspace. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's save it in my own workspace, and I'll just call it as cross sales report and I'll click on save. 
So what we have done, we have created a report from scratch in Power BI service without using Power BI desktop. So this is how you uh, basically then, uh, then it is like uh, a proper Power BI report. And if you want to edit this report further, in Power BI Desktop, then what you can do, you can go into File, and then uh, you you first what you need to do is like you need to uh, like say this is the report in a visual mode. So you just need to first click on Edit, and once you click on Edit, this is an Edit mode. So if you go to File, you have an option to download this file, and then once you download this file, you should be able to uh, basically uh, take this file and then put it in Power BI. Now let's do one thing. Now we have created this cross sales report, right? And uh, let me go into the cross sales report in Keresh workspace. So this is the cross sales report as you see over here. Now, as you see over here, uh, this report is again uh, pasted in, like I have just given the path of this workspace. Now we have an option to save a copy. We have an option for settings. Uh, now let's go into other report, like say I'm going to financials report over here. And as you see over here, I have an option to save a copy, quick insight, delete, analyze in Excel and all those different, different things. Now this is from a report perspective. Now remember when we started this, we just sorted this by a semantic model, right? So as you see over here, we went into semantic model and then we created create report. Now, <clears throat> If you want to, uh, like, as, as I mentioned to you that, you know, you can download this Power BI file, right? Now, this Power BI file is not coming from a report. Like, we went into the gross sales report, and then we started downloading the file. Now, you cannot download that file, but because, you know, in Power BI desktop, we want something called as a PBIX file. Now, gross sales report is coming from financial semantic model, right? So, what we can do, if you want to uh, have that file in... Uh, say power bi and then you want to further you know like uh, create a report then you can go into financials and here uh, you have an option to download this file so once you download this file it will download a pbx file and then you can further uh, work on that now <clears throat> coming back to the second topic if you click on the semantic model again you have an option to auto create the report now this is the second part so what it does is like if you do not have time to think about what visuals to keep within your Power BI report, Power BI service will automatically create the report. Now, it has given me this report, as you see over here, it has given me the quick summary of financials, like some of units sold, some of discounts, some of cost of goods sold. Uh, and then it has also given me a nice line chart and also summarized the visual. Uh, automatically so I didn't even put my thought over this and then it has automatically created this particular visual now as you see over here what I can do if I go to file I have an option to save a copy right or if I click on save okay so the first option which I need to do once this report is generated and if I'm happy with it like if I'm not happy with it what I can do is like I can come here and then I'll say oh uh, this particular visual I do not want in uh, uh, in this format so I'll just click on personalize this visual and say I don't want line chart I want a donut chart okay so just example and then once you're done with it you can even select the fields uh, I'm not going to make those changes and once you think that you're happy with this particular uh, entire thing, you just click on save. So what it does, it will ask you to save your report. Now I'll just say save your report, uh, auto finance. As this was automatically created, I'll just name it as auto finance. Okay. So this is the report which I'm saving currently. Now let's see what all options you have. Uh, so if I go to file, I have an option to embed this report. I can manage the permission. I can generate a QR code. Uh, I can export in Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, and even I can get insights and other functionality. But I'm not going to uh, show you uh, all those things because the whole purpose of this exercise was to how to generate an auto report from Power BI service. Because if you do not have time to prepare a report and if you want... Uh, Power BI service to suggest something. So Power BI suggested this. So how do we get back to this report? So if you are in a workspace, you navigate to this workspace. 
and then we have created this auto finance report now as you see over here if i click on this three dot again you get the same uh, options what you get for a general report right and if you want to edit further you can just go into auto finance report and open that report and then you can further play around with it right you have an option to download this file now this file download so let's download this file it says a copy of your report and data so dot pbix file containing report and data will be downloaded or a copy of your report with a live connection to the data so you have an option to download this file now remember we created one more file just now with, with the create model which we called as i think cross sales report or something let's see let me go to this cross sales report yep this is the report which we created now if you click on file over here now here also we have an option to download this file okay now here once you down start downloading the file it will also give you an option a copy of report and data pbx and a copy of your report with a live connection and then you can download that alternatively if you want to get the pbix file directly uh, you can click on edit and then you have an option to download this file as well so you can just download this file and then play around with power bi desktop if you want to have more functionality around it now let's go back to the workspace again now remember what, how we started our discussion is we went into the semantic model we first created a report which created a blank report we then created an auto create report which then automatically created the report now let's do one thing auto create the report and then now pre-select the data now here in pre-selection of data it has given you this option right now we have an option to select something else okay so what i can do like instead of units sold i can uh, pick up gross sales now based on gross sales it will give you all the gross sales related visuals over here now i can even select profit now then it will give the sum of cross sales and sum of profit right uh, and then i have an option to select segment uh, units sold year so the moment you start selecting all this uh, visuals uh, like the the columns it will automatically give you uh, suggesting you all this visuals over here now as you see over here i've selected various multiple options over here uh, if I go to product review sample, let's do one thing. Let's see what happens when I click on reviews or review code ID. Okay. Now, sometimes it may not pick up that right combination. So what we need to do, we need to unselect other things. So I'm just unselecting, uh, say, cross sales, discount band, and other sections over here. Now, as you see over here, it has started minimizing the visual content. And if I remove the discount band, if I remove year, month, okay. Now, as you see over here, the moment I start re removing all this field, it has now started picking value from the product review sample table. So it will automatically filter out the report and then it will try to see which one is the best one which I can show to the user. The moment I select profit, then it thinks that, okay, user wants to now have information about the profit and the review code and it has nicely uh, summarized some of profit but some of review id it doesn't make sense uh, maybe i'll just say uh, count of rows if i just select count of rows uh, and i'll just take the review code out of this and then it will start giving you some other visual so this is how you basically play around uh, uh, the only uh, issue with this particular visual is uh, this this particular method is like you do not have a second page this is just like one page it will create so there is no option to create a second page now in order to do that you need to first save this and then you know uh, you need to uh, further uh, expand this by using power bi desktop so that's it folks this is all i have for the uh, workspace related feature uh, which allows you to uh, create a report auto create a report uh, and then power bi also suggest uh, some content once you start creating that report automatically thanks for watching <clears throat>